Hey Riverhawk fans, welcome back to this week's edition of the Riverhawk Report. As always, I am your host, Ben Mon. It was an exciting week. Men's hockey was out in Burlington, Vermont for two games against the Catamounts, while we had women's basketball at home for a couple games in American East Conference action, while the men were on the road. Indoor track and field was out at BU for meet themselves. All this and more coming up with No Nonsense. The men's hockey team went 1-1 one one this past weekend as they traveled up to Burlington, Vermont to take on the Vermont Catamounts through hockey's play, especially as we get to the latter half of the year now. And on Friday, they came from behind for yet another victory in overtime as they won by a score of 3-2. But the Catamounts got the best of the Riverhawks 6-3 on Saturday night. In the win, though, Charlie Levesque scored yet another goal while Connor Wilson scored the game winner in overtime. At 14-11 overall and 9-7 and in Hockey East, they challenged Boston College in a home-and-home -home this weekend, starting with a pivotal matchup on Friday night from the Songa Center, in which that game can be seen on Nesson, and they will follow up on Saturday with a game against the Eagles on ESPN3 up in Chestnut Hill. After clawing their way into a game with Albany last Thursday, the men's basketball team snapped their losing streak this past Sunday with a 79-71 victory at Binghamton. Ryan Jones came up clutch late in the game with a big steal to help secure their first conference win of the season. Jahad Thomas finished with 14 points, but coming out of a funk was Matt Harris, who went 9 of 16 from the field and 5 of 11 from beyond the arc for 24 big points. The Riverhawks return home for two games starting with a Wednesday night game at Costello against Stony Brook and a Saturday evening clash with Hartford. Women's basketball team led for most of last Thursday's game against Albany, but fell 61-52 to the Great Danes. In the loss, Kayla Gibbs put up 16 points and tied a career high with 18 rebounds. Sunday, Binghamton and one of the nation's best scorers proved too much for the Riverhawks as they lost, but they head on the road to take on Stony Brook Wednesday in Hartford on Saturday. Both the men and women indoor track and field teams performed well at Boston University this past weekend. For the men, they nabbed seven first place finishes, including junior Sean Minnelli, who ran away from the rest of the field to win the 1,000 meters by more than two seconds. Minnelli crossed the finish line in a time of two minutes, 26 seconds, the fastest time placed on the board this season by an America East athlete. Catherine Lofnane turned in the personal best as she won 800 meters. Lofnane took the lead in the final 200 meters and was clocked in at a time of two minutes and 12 seconds. Let's now take some time for your Circle Health Plays of the Week. Starting with the number three here on the Plays of the Week, Obadiah Noel, who got America's Rookie of the Week for the second time this season, getting up there in the loss against UAlbany. He also had a big performance against Binghamton, flexing on him right there. Number two, we turn up to Burlington, Vermont, and look at this tic-tac-toe maneuver. Right there is Charlie Levesque up the goal, and that's called great teamwork. Bada bing, bada boom, bearing it in their 3-2 victory. And the number one goes to back to that game against Vermont. Down shorthanded. Look at this beauty by Connor Sodergren to tie it up. Those are your circle health plays of the week. Thanks everyone for tuning in to this week's Riverhawk Report. Make sure you go on to GoRiverHawks.com to find out the latest schedule and everything Riverhawks. On behalf of the Riverhawk Network, I'm Ben Mellon.